Во 1961 година председателот Кенеди го формираше мировниот корпус во Америка со цел ширење пријателство и мир на секаде во светот. Мировниот корпус постои во Македонија скоро 15 години, а денес како има можност да поразговарам со главниот директор на Мировниот корпус во Америка, господинот Арон Вилијамс, како и директорот на Мировниот корпус овде во Македонија, господинот Стивен Корпс. First of all, it's delightful to be with you today. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to speak to the people of Macedonia. Uh, the Peace Corps was created in 1961 by President John F. Kennedy. Uh, he wanted to provide Americans with the opportunity to learn more about the outside world. And so he asked young people if they would be willing to give two years of their lives to go overseas and learn about countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, and Eastern Europe. And so that's how the Peace Corps got launched. I was a Peace Corps volunteer from 1967 to 1970. Mm -hmm. I served in the Dominican Republic and I was involved in teacher training programs in the Dominican Republic. And it was a marvelous experience. I mean, without having served in the Peace Corps, I would not have become a foreign service officer, had a career in business. It, the Peace Corps really, truly, for me, changed my life forever. It made all the difference in, in the world for me. And uh, so I, now I'm very proud and pleased that President Obama asked me to serve as the 18th Director of the Peace Corps. Uh, as you can imagine, for someone who served in the Peace Corps as a young person, then to come back later on in their career to be able to be the head of this great organization, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, and I am here in Macedonia because uh, we have decided to hold our annual conference of all of our country directors from, from Asia, from the Mediterranean, from Europe, here in Macedonia. So we have about 21 country directors from all the countries that we work in in this region here today. Thanks, thanks to our co my colleague Stephen who hosted this. Uh, yes, Stephen, you are here already one year mm -hmm. working in Macedonia as a part of the Peace Corps. So can you tell me about your experience here in Macedonia and um, uh, about the volunteers here that are working? Uh, they are coming from different parts of the United States and they can uh, experience the culture, Macedonian culture. Um, Currently we have 68 volunteers here in Macedonia, um, 34 of them work in the TEFL field, they teach English in the local schools, and um, the other 34 work in community development, they work with the municipalities and NGOs, and we have a wonderful partnership in Ohrid uh, with the Red Cross, and they're helping out down there, they've opened a library for the young children, and they do reading stories. Um, and yes, I've arrived here just about a year ago, and I hope to be here for many years. <laughs> but um, the we hope so too. <laughs> the people of Macedonia have been incredibly warm and welcoming to both me, my wife, and all the volunteers. I mean, it's a pleasure to work here. Okay, uh, you are here first time in Macedonia. My first visit to Macedonia. And what a lovely country! You had a chance to meet with our president. I did. I had a wonderful meeting yesterday with the president, and uh, it was a delightful meeting. And the president, who's a very busy man, was very generous with his time. gave us a long period of time to have a conversation, and. Uh, I just found that it's, it's amazing the long and successful and positive friendship between Macedonia and the United States, which is one of the one of the examples of that is Peace Corps and Peace Corps service here. And I know that in the future that uh, will continue the collaboration between our two countries. And uh, uh, because next year it's an anniversary of That's the right. Peace Corps, 50 years and 15 years from existing here, maybe in Macedonia, if I have right. That's correct. So yeah. you, um, something about that it will be yeah. Yeah, well, happening. Uh, next year, uh, 2011, we will celebrate 50 years of Peace Corps service since President Kennedy founded Peace Corps in 1961. Yes. Uh, in that time, about 200,000 Americans have served in the Peace Corps in uh, about 140 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, Macedonia is one of those countries that represents the great tradition of the Peace Corps. We've been here uh, in this country 15 years. Uh, volunteers have always enjoyed working in Macedonia. We have wonderful programs going on, as Stephen mentioned earlier. And we want to continue to work here. We want to continue to work side by side with Macedonians to support them and their priorities. Okay. One of the things you find is our volunteers are so happy here, many of them extend for a third year, 
And we even have several who marry Macedonians and never leave. <laughs> yes, I met one girl from Kavadarci maybe two months ago at the American Corner, and she told me that she wants to stay here in Macedonia for a lifetime. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, that's, the, the, that's yes. the best part, is because the people are so wonderful, and it's so easy to work with the government here that uh, many of our volunteers want to stay forever. <laughs> uh, I'm very glad that Macedonia, uh, they like Macedonia. And what about other countries and uh, what are the benefits for the volunteers? They meet different cultures, maybe new languages? I think, uh, you know, certainly my story is, is a common story in Peace Corps. I wanted to learn about the outside world. Mm -hmm. I wanted to learn a, a foreign language and I wanted to learn about different cultures. So I went to the Dominican Republic and learned Spanish and learned about an enti entirely different world than I knew growing up in Chicago. Uh, and so the first time I took an airplane was after leaving Chicago, going to the Dominican Republic. That was the first time. <laughs> so it really changed my life forever. But I have many colleagues who have had wonderful stories about the experiences they've had in the Peace Corps. Uh, because the thing about the Peace Corps, which is unique, I think, is that it allows a young person typically to have a leadership experience at a very early age, to learn another language, to learn about another culture, to really be tested themselves to find out what they can do to support other people's ideals and, uh, for their and priorities career in the future. and for their career in the future. And so nowadays you'll find that many of our diplomats in, American foreign, in the American Foreign Service, uh, many of our uh, colleagues who work in USAID, they are former Peace Corps volunteers. They got their first start in looking at international affairs through the Peace Corps. You met your wife at the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I know when right, you have yeah. two sons, maybe they will be part also from uh, of the Peace Corps. That's right. <laughs> they're, they're giving it serious consideration. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Um, also, one of the goals of Peace Corps is to bring this experience home so that the people in America learn about the countries where we serve. Yes. And so it's so important for Americans who don't know where Macedonia is or never heard of Macedonia other than Alexander the Great. So now they're learning about the modern Macedonia from their volunteers who come home and tell them about it. And they're learning the real Macedonia. And the Peace Corps uh, is working uh, in a developing countries. So yes. how, how you decide in which country you are going to have your mission? Well, one of the things that's very important about the Peace Corps is that we have to be asked by a country to come and work in their country. So number one, we wait for a country to decide that we want the Peace Corps to work here. Number two, we identify a country's priorities to find out what their priorities are. You know, should we be working in education? Should we work in health? Should we work in, uh, in information technology? And then we identify Americans and train them to work in those sectors. So it's a wonderful combination because, first of all, we're asked to come to the country, we receive a request, and then we send people to work on, the, on that country's priorities. Years of working of Peace Corps to promote uh, peace and friendship around the world. And it was a very great pleasure for me to have a conversation with you today. And something else, anything for the end? Uh, I would like to say that, first of all, we really thank the people of Macedonia for the warm welcome that they've given our Peace Corps volunteers here for over 15 years. And I really appreciate the fact that I had a chance to meet your distinguished president. Uh, this has been a one wonderful trip, and I'm so happy that my colleagues were able to join me here in Macedonia to learn more about this lovely country and to see, once again, the great partnership between the Peace Corps and a host nation. And I would just like to say, Blagodaram, Yasaka Macedonia, Prietno.